up YouTubers, Big Body Cars here. Uh, hadn't did a video in a while, so I figured I'd let you guys know what's been going on with me and what I've been up to. Working a pretty good bit, so I hadn't had really enough time to fool with the rides lately. I've still got the SS, as you can see. Not much has been done since the last time we talked. Had to get the dash completely in, and I've been driving this thing, but still working on the console. I've got that piece out. I molded it to make it one piece. Just needs to be sanded some more and painted and put in. But, and I added four six by nines in it, but I hadn't did too much anything else to it. What I have been focusing my attention on lately is my 91 Cadillac Broham I bought. This was a one owner car. Guy passed, his wife had it in the garage, well kept. Had six to 8,000 original miles when I bought it and not the ones that flipped, I mean, Six to eight thousand original. It never flipped this digital dash, so had to do a whole lot to it. I put a set of wheels on it. Twenty-six dub skirts, three-piece wheels, twenty-six by nine in the front, twenty-six by ten in the back. I uh, did not do a whole lot to make it work. The back went right on, no issues whatsoever. The front took a minor bit of trimming there to the back of the trim and a little bit to the front of the bumper one knuckle to keep it from rubbing whenever you hit a bump. I mean, it does good, but if you hit a good enough bump, it will scrub. But with the knuckle in it, it took care of all that. The car is fairly original on the inside. It's got uh, the original interior. I didn't do anything to it. Uh, had to put a headliner in it when I bought it. It was sagging, was hanging, pulled it out, had it replaced. Fairly inexpensive. Put a doubled-in radio in it. Add a remote start to it. Added some six by nines in the back to go on with the stereo system. Nothing too major, but something nice and sounds good. And like you can even see from the back here. I mean, this is a well took care of clean car. Original sinks, they're a little wrinkle. May have them recovered. Depends on if I keep the car that long. I like the car, but I never drive it. I guess I've had it now about two or three months. At best, I may have put a hundred miles on this thing. And, I'm not kidding. I mean, I don't drive it anywhere, go anywhere in it. It hadn't really even left my house too many times. Uh, like I said, I put a keyless entry remote start on it. Everything works off the key, the door lock, trunk pop, etc. It's got two JL 12s, second battery in the trunk. You don't want to cut the car up and make it look too crazy. You don't want to mount the amps. So I just took them. And actually put them here in these little two sides and believe it or not they're not screwed down or anything they sit there just fine got zero out front to back as you can see running everything in the distribution block to break it down to four gauge for the amps i think it's a hyphonic 1700d and a 160 by four amp runs the highs that's pretty good like i said i didn't want to do nothing too crazy or extravagant because i might end up selling this thing and i didn't want to ruin the low mileage but I said, you can see, even a trunk pull, everything works. Uh, the only thing I've had to really do on the outside is I had those pieces there painted. And I had the trunk painted. I had the front pieces put in it and painted, which anybody knows these cars, you don't have to do that. They just, just a factory defect doesn't laugh. I mean, it doesn't even have scratches on the window. It's a pretty clean old car. The LED headlights, I changed all the bulbs out when I got it. They wouldn't work in too great. Still got that University of Alabama tag. I'm an Auburn fan, which is kind of funny, but actually looks pretty good on there, so I just never took it off. It kind of gives the car a little, little attitude, but I had not put up a video in a while. I just want to let people know what I've been doing. i uh, say first of the year, probably June-ish. I may get this thing repainted. I got an idea in mind. I'm going to put 24s back on it. And do a few more upgrades to the motor, but nothing too major. Just really hadn't had time with work and kids and sports and any y'all parents, you know how that goes. It'll it'll consume your time. But just wanted to give everybody an update where I was at and what's going on. Look forward to posting some more videos in the future. I hope you guys have a good day.